Hi guys, in this video we will try to see this question that is draw a cube of size 30 by 30 by 30 mm in the AutoCAD 2007 version by using the modeling toolbar. Basically this problem can be done in two ways that is this uh, creation of a cube can be done in two ways we will see one by one. So in the modeling toolbar we have a option called or the command called box. So if you click on the box then you can see that uh, there is a question like uh, specify the first corner. Say supposingly I am giving 0, 0 and press enter. Then what is it asking? It is asking specify other corner. So we have to give the second uh, end point. So the second end point will be 30, 30 because the question is of 30, size, 30 length, 30 breadth and 30 height. This is a cube here where we are talking about. So then press enter. Then the third point it is asking is like specify the height. The height is also I want 30. Therefore, I am pressing 30 and press enter. Now the cube is finished. So I am pressing Z enter, E enter so that everything is coming to the screen size. Now if I want to see it in another way, this is the top view which we are seeing. If I want to go to the front view, in the front view also it will be looking like a cube of course or the FA square of course. So I will go to southwest isometric view. So it is looking like a cube now. We will go to the conceptual view. Then we can see it very clearly. So you can see it very clearly in the conceptual view that this is a cube. So if you want to give dimensions for this, if you want to give dimensions for this, then what we can do is that we can go to the top view. Then in the top view, I will go for the dimensioning. So this is the dimensioning, align dimension. I am selecting this point and this point and I am giving it like this as well as I am going this point that is length and breadth is also I am giving but since it is a cube you need not give it the other dimensions only one is enough but if you want to give you can give then we can go to the front view also you can go to the front view also here also we can give the dimensioning here dimensioning can be given and then we can go to the southwest isometric view see the dimensioning is perfectly done here in some cases what happens is that this dimension will be a little far away then we can use the move command and make it near so this is how you draw a cube by using the modeling toolbar uh, box command directly this is a box command. let us see another problem let us see the same question by doing in another way so this is the general by default it is the top view which is obtained here then what we will do is that we will go for the polygon we will go to the polygon once i click on the polygon it will ask enter the number of sides the number of sides is four of course because in a cube will be having a face is having four sides so then it is asking specify center of the polygon i don't want to go with the center of the polygon i want to go with the edge therefore e enter so it is asking first point so i'm giving the first point as here and second point i want it to be straight so therefore i'm pressing r though and i'm drawing it like this and uh, it i want it to be 30 mm right so 30 mm so now in the top view i have drawn a square so this is basically a square it's not a cube it is a square now this square can be extruded this can be extruded by using the extrude command to become a square uh, cube so press on extrude then select the objects it is asking so this is the object i want to select and then press enter then height height how much i want so this is why height is something like height i want it to be 30 because it should be a cube so 30 and press enter now you can see it in the front view top view it will be same as it is then go to the southwest isometric same thing is created here so dimensioning can also be done in the same way you can see in the conceptual also so, so here this way you can finish the cube like in two different ways one is by using the box command other by using the extrude command so both ways you can finish the diagram um, so we can say this is a prism also you can say square prism but it is having all sides same okay. so this is how you finish this question draw a cube of size 30 by 30 by 30 bye